So I want to set the stage for you. Uh, I'm 17 years old, and I'm actually on a stage. It's an old, musty auditorium, and the chairs are creaking. I can hear people. They're shifting around impatiently, and I'm standing there, 17 years old, Got this shaggy skater boy haircut, punk rock band t-shirt on, baggy jeans, and I think I had some Adidas skater shoes at the time. I'm standing there and I'm alone. I'm holding papers in my hand and I'm shaking. And I take a deep breath. But let me take you back to why I'm on this stage. So. I was always an outsider. I was always that kid that didn't fit in. I was that anarchist kid, or I was that kid that was skipping class. So my report card always said, you know, Meg's really smart, but if she just showed up to class, if she just applied herself a little bit more. But at the same time, the last thing I cared about was school. School was a dangerous place for me. Maybe not physically all the time, but I didn't feel safe in that space. I didn't feel safe in myself. I was the kid that cried in the bathroom every single day in fourth grade because the other kids didn't understand why I cut all my hair off. And at age 11, I took my first pill. And by age 13, I was drinking vodka every day. And I was drowning my sorrows, and I was trying to push all of those things away. There was one day I was a freshman in high school and I was actually there. And I was walking down the hall and I was planning on going to class. And this group of jocks, nothing against jocks, but these guys were mean. They were walking toward me and I tried to step out of the way, but one of them, he bumped my shoulder and he said, faggot, why don't you move out of the way? And so I just put my head down and I didn't go to class. I went in the bathroom and I snorted a line and I left. And I didn't come back for a week. I never felt like I had a voice in that space. I had no voice. Nobody cared what I was going through. And it was my junior year of high school and I met this man. He was a social worker. And the first day I talked to him, he sat down with me and he listened. I told him so much. All the things that I had poured out into my notebooks about not fitting in and about not understanding my place in the world and I told him all of it. That man helped me get sober. That man listened. In my senior year of high school, no, I didn't love it, but I was running a peer mentor group for LGBT students, and I was running a peer mentor group for students with drug and alcohol addictions, and I was finding myself. I had stopped running from my otherness. And so I'll take you back to that stage 
there was a symposium at the middle school that I had went to and it was about bullying and they asked me to be the keynote speaker. So I'm on that stage, 17 years old, and I'm shaking, but I take a deep breath and I just start talking. And the papers go down to my side and I spoke every word from passion. I could feel every single word down to my bones. And yes, I did go through a lot because of my otherness, but it was that otherness that finally gave me a voice. Thank you.